with your storm team weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers, sponsored by Big Country Equipment. Well, it looks, we're, looks like we're officially back to warm and dry weather for the foreseeable future, Aaron. That's true, at least rolling into the weekend. There may be some showers as we go into the beginning of next week. Let's talk all about that. We've got more sun for the days ahead. Below normal temperatures, though, with daytime highs in the mid-90s for us. And then more showers are set to return as we go into the beginning of next week. Here's a look at that almanac for today. We made it to a high of 94. That's below average for us. Normally, we're around 97 for daytime highs. The record of 100. 111 back in 1933. This morning's low of 72. That's right where we should be as far as daytime lows go for this time of the year. Out of Mathisville, it's 93 degrees. Feels like 94 with humidity at 36%. Winds are on the south at 14 miles an hour. Pressure sitting at 29.86 inches and falling rapidly. And as we take a look at temperatures across the region, most of us are sitting in the low 90s. 89 over in Brady. 93 in San Angelo. It is rather warm up in Sterling City. 96, 93 in Ozona, 92 in El Dorado. So we're all seeing those temperatures getting into those low 90s. Here's what we have seen this month. Much cooler days for us. And we're going to go ahead and add 15 to this for today because this is below normal for us. And we've had 15 days of below normal temperatures so far in July of 2021. And I think we're going to continue to see that as we go through the days ahead because daytime highs are expected to be below normal normal for us as we roll through the rest of this week into the weekend and then into the beginning of next week. Look at Tuesday. Temperatures getting back into those upper 80s for daytime highs. We're going to talk about why here in just a minute. But first, if you're looking for something fun to do this weekend with family, downtown movie night across from the Cactus Hotel in downtown San Angelo. Friday's feature will be Toy Story 4. Say that three times fast. And you want to bring the chairs, the lawn chairs, the blankets for the kids to sit on. It's a free movie, but you might also want to bring some concession money. They do sell concession down there with the movie. And as we get closer to movie time on Friday night, 9.15, around 88 degrees with clear conditions. Then as we roll towards the 10 o'clock hour, getting into those middle 80s, continuing to be clear. Here's what we are seeing right now on clouds and radar across the Lone Star State. We've got one severe thunderstorm warning up in the Texas Panhandle where they're seeing some showers and thunderstorms up there. Things are dry through the midsection of the state. And then we've got eastern showers and thunderstorms across East Texas. Otherwise, things are going to be dry for us as we go through the next several days into our weekend. Mostly sunny conditions, highs in the mid-90s for us as we roll through our weekend. Into the beginning of next week, we'll watch for that chance for more showers and thunderstorms as a cold front approaches our area, providing the lifting for showers and thunderstorms and cloud cover that's going to help keep us cooler in the upper 80s, low 90s for daytime highs as we go into the beginning of next week. And then starting to turn a little bit drier as we head towards the latter half of next week. Tonight, we'll drop down to around 73 with mostly clear conditions. For our Friday, we'll top out near 95, mostly sunny for us. Not a bad Friday for us. South winds of 10 to 15 miles an hour as we go through the next five days. Very similar story to today as we roll into the weekend. Daytime highs in those mid to upper 90s for us. And then we'll start to see temperatures come back down a little bit as a cold front approaches our area with some showers and thunderstorm chances as we roll into the beginning of next week. We have more KCN News. Stay with us.